A mother pleading for answers tonight after her daughter was shot and killed in front of a health college in Fenton. She says the killer was her daughter's boyfriend of three years. Fox News Amelia McGavro is live with more on this exclusive emotional interview. Amelia. Mandy Shirley, that mother tells me there is absolutely no worse pain than losing your own child. She says her daughter, Shalonda Mil Miller, was a bright light on this earth, and the family is definitely feeling the absence of that light tonight. When I say the best daughter in the world, when I say the best daughter in the world, that's where she was. Yolanda Field says it still doesn't feel real that her daughter is no longer with her. Just still in disbelief. Um, what kind of monster would do this to an angel? Field says she got the call Tuesday evening that her daughter had been shot in front of the St. Louis College of Health Careers, where her daughter was studying to become a registered nurse. Field says Shalonda's ex-boyfriend, Tyrone Barnes, surprised her outside the college. They got into a fight and he shot her multiple times. You know, they were had been dating for maybe three years off and on. Um, she decided to get out the relationship and he didn't want to get out the relationship. He went out there and killed my baby like a coward. Investigators say Barnes was at the scene when police arrived and he started shooting at officers. He then got in his car and led police on a 10 minute chase that ended in Kirkwood. Barnes then shot and killed himself. A lot of pain and anger because this could have just should have been prevented. Field says Shalonda and her were very close and her daughter just wanted to spend her life helping people. Shalonda was just 35 years old and leaves behind two teenage boys. I got a job to do and that's to make sure these two boys become the men that she works so hard to turn them into. And I was told by employees of the St. Louis College of Health Careers that the college was closed today after that initial shooting. And police say the investigation is still ongoing. Reporting from St. Louis County, Amelia McGalbro, Fox 2 News.